Hi, my name is Wayne. Call sign 2E0BVJ. That's Bravo Victor Juliet. I'm just going to do a, a little demonstration of the uh, the Zigu XPA125B from uh, Zigu Tech in uh, China. Uh, this is a 100 watt power uh, amplifier with uh, a built in uh, Auto ATU as well. Now I'm going to be uh, demonstrating it tonight with the X5105. Uh, right. If you're going to be using the X5105 with the XPA125B, uh, you're going to need one of these. The reason being is that uh, the linear amplifier has a, an 8 pin in socket on, uh, on the rear. And the... No, it has a 6 pin in on the rear of the amplifier. On the... XPA one uh, on the X5105, it is an 8 pin in uh, socket. Sorry about the mix up there, but uh, right on the front there, you've got the on off button, PA button, band button, ATU, and tune switch in and uh, tune. The band button is if you want to use the linear with uh, another uh, transceiver. You can do by uh, manually changing the bands. Otherwise, if you connect to the X5105 and the uh, X108G, as you change bands, the uh, the linear will do so as well. I'll demonstrate that. Right on the rear, we have the uh, antenna socket, the uh, the DC in jack, which uh, is a six uh, a six pin. Uh, Connector there that you find on most transceivers these days. Uh, the accessory port, the COM port, that's for uh, firmware updates and uh, so on. And there you have the uh, the transceiver uh, jack there that goes to the radio. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set it up. Uh, first, I need to connect this into the uh, mid dummy load into the antenna socket my dog decides he wants to play in the background whenever he calls <laughs> oh dear and then uh, this one here is from the the x5105 into the transceiver sl239 socket on there Right, this is where the, uh, the little interface comes in. So we have there the uh, the eight pin. There, that goes into the output. So just get the uh, this. This is what comes with the uh, with the linear itself. It comes with uh, a six pin in lead. Now, if you're going to connect to this linear. Uh, to the X108G, you don't need the you don't need the, uh, the little interface there. So uh, put the the six pin in there, and then match it up. It does tell it does tell you there to XPA one two five, and then we have the one lead then that uh, that comes with the CE the CE19 the uh, the interface so if we can focus and then we plug that one into there now on the uh, on the X5105 as you'll see we have a matching uh, 8 pin uh, accessory socket so uh, this needs to be uh, plugged into there. Right, we're in. And that's basically it. Uh, once you've uh, connected your DC uh, lead in, we should be in business. Right.
That's for switching your uh, PA on or off. The band button, like I say, that's for uh, for when you're using with other transceivers. Well, I'm, I'm going to now test the uh, the output. Now this has uh, two built-in. Uh, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that or not in the camera. But the uh, the linear has uh, the linear amplifier has two SWR meters, one for the uh, linear and one for the uh, the radio. Well, I'm on twenty meters, as you can see on there. And I'm now going to uh, grab my dummy load, grab the microphone, and put this down here. Now set the uh, power meter to uh, 200 watts. There we go. Hopefully now, You might have to turn the uh, the power down on the XPA one two five. Where's my mic? Mm, there we have it, 100 watts. That's into my, uh, my dummy load. Right, I think what I'll do, I'll just give a, a quick demonstration of the uh, the ATU. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, take this out of line. To initiate the uh, ATU is uh, on the uh, the ATU press. I'm going to turn the power down on this. I think. Right, I'm doing about one. I'm doing one watt out to the uh, out to the X5105. We'll now do a long press. And then key the mic. And there, yeah, the SW. I, I don't know. You see the SWR over here, one to one point three, and then over there, it's uh, it's one. Oh, we have fifty-five. Just turn the power up a little bit. 
and uh, there you can see on the on the display that's your uh, your output from the linear and on the left side here is the power in now you can turn the uh, the PA off if you if you just want to do QRP you can just turn the linear off and then you'll see 5.1 watt now when you change bands on the uh, the next 5105 I'll do now you see on the uh, really hard to you see there at the in, at the bottom it says uh, auto 30 meters go down to I'm on 40 meters 80 60 sorry 80 top band and 6 meters now here's a test my antenna is uh, what do you call it is only 40 meters up to uh, 6 well let's see if the ATU will tune it on top band well on the radio we're on top band and yeah let me just the PA is off so press the uh, ATU tune and there yeah. on the meter there I'm not sure whether you can see there but it is one on there and one on there so uh, let's tune my uh, delta loop on uh, 160 meters so the ATU is doing well there. Right, with that, it was just a brief uh, test of the linear. Hopefully this evening I'm going to be uh, putting the uh, the linear on air uh, with a, for a test with uh, one of our group members there. Uh, the Facebook group, that is. So with that, I say uh, thanks for uh, watching there. And uh, we'll see you uh, a little bit later, uh, hopefully with another video. So this is Wayne 2E0, a BPJ going to RT73.